Joining me to share her favourite things is an artist who was discovered at the age of just 12. Her music has had over 1.6 billion worldwide streams and she's just released her, her fourth studio album, Young Heart. It is Birdie. Birdie, welcome to the show and congratulations. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. You've said about this album, this album means a lot to me. I want to protect it. Tell me about that. Um, it's, def it's my favourite thing that I've ever made, favourite album. Um, I think it was quite a long journey making it and um, it's quite, the music is quite different to, to what I'd done before on the previous album. It's a lot more raw and stripped back, so it just feels a lot more intimate. So I'm, I think that's why I feel so protective of it. And it's, it, you're giving away a lot of yourself on this too, aren't you? How yeah. does that feel to like, you know, it's one thing writing these things into your diary and locking them away like we all do, but you write them down and then you go, oh, I'll turn this into entertainment as well. What is that feeling like? Um, it's quite strange. I think I've had like some distance from it now, which is probably a good thing. Um, but yeah, it was definitely, I mean, it was hard writing it because I, I didn't know how personal I wanted to the lyrics to be and you know how much I wanted to share and so some of that was quite difficult and I think a lot of that was why it took so long to make it um but it I think it makes it more it makes me more passionate about it and it is finally here for us all to enjoy and to learn a bit more about you but we want to learn even more about you Birdie and we do that here on the Blissimo Files via favorite things are you ready for this yeah yeah let's go for it what tv show are you obsessing over right now um, I really love The Queen's Gambit. That was so good. I, I got really into that. Um, but I kind of just end up watching the same things over and like I watch Friends on Netflix over and over again. And uh, I recently got back into Misfits, which I don't know if you ever saw that, but that I really love that show. There's something, I don't know, I think during lockdown, instead of, like we did, we all discovered new shows and The Queen's Gambit, who would have thought we all would have been obsessed over a show about chess? But a lot of us have gone back to things that made us feel good in yeah. when we were younger. Have you found that? Yeah, I think, yeah, just something that's comforting that you kind of know has been really nice. Um, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I kind of, I get always get stuck though on that, like Friends, I never stop watching that. Have you got a favourite episode? Oh God, I don't know. I like the one where they go on holiday. That's always quite funny. And Monica gets her hair. <laughs> 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 oh, I can't wait to get, I used to complain about Monica hair. I cannot wait for the day I get Monica hair again. <laughs> what book, uh, do you have a favourite book? Um, I mean, it's sort of a children's book, but I, it's not just for children, I don't think, but the, the, um, His Dark Materials by Philip Pullman. It's one of my favourite. I loved those books when I was growing up and then I reread them and they've just done the series on the BBC, which was so good. And I feel like that really captured the books really well. Um, but yeah, I love that. I love those books. Your favourite film? Um, that's a really hard one. Um, I actually recently watched The Elephant Man for the first time and that, I just thought it was so amazing. It was so beautifully directed and shot. And um, But I also love... One of my favourite films is that French film, Amelie. Oh, have you been to the Amelie Cafe in Paris? No, I haven't. I'd love to do that. Though. Oh, it's cool. It's, and they've got like a little shrine to Amelie. As really? Well. It's so, it's so <laughs> cool. That. Yeah. Um, the song that everybody should have on their pumped up playlist. Um, ooh, maybe like some Billie Eilish is quite a good, good one to have. Like Bad Guy, I feel like that's a really good one you should have. Do you have a favourite album? I don't have like one album that's my favourite, but there's a few and uh, Jeff Buckley, probably Grace is an album that I like will always listen to and love and, and I never get bored of. Do you listen to podcasts? And if so, do you have a favourite podcast? I don't listen to podcasts actually, but I need to get into that. Um, I did watch, I did listen to an episode of um, How to Fail with Elizabeth Day. Yeah, it was with Phoebe Waller-Bridge and I really enjoyed that um but I'm starting to do more of them which is weird so I, I need to get into it a bit more what is that like when you are the subject of the podcast it's straight I mean it's really strange um I'm, I, I'm not like I felt like I was never really good at interviews so it's like weird kind of getting used to this world where everyone's like podcast is such a big thing now and um it's interesting but yeah I'd like to get into it a bit more what app can't you live without? 
Uh, God, probably, I mean, I use WhatsApp a lot, like with my family, to, you know, big family group chats and things like that. So I feel like that one's probably, yeah. Um, do you have a favourite account to follow on social media? Um, I'm not like a huge, I've had to get into social media a bit more this really? year. Really? Yeah, because I just, because we couldn't do anything else, couldn't go out and play. And so I've like sort of been connecting with fans a bit more through social media, which has been really nice, but I'm not like naturally, <laughs> I'm not good at it. And I like prefer to not be on my phone too much, but um, I'm trying to think, I, I like, I really like following actually Miranda Hart because she always posts really like inspirational <laughs> videos and like about how to be more comfortable in your skin and I don't know they're just really sweet posts that I, I like following her. And what got you through lockdown? Um, well I was really lucky because I was in the New Forest which is where I grew up and we had lots of outside space so we were really really lucky and I did a lot of swimming because um, we live right by the sea and and we have these big lakes around us so I was swimming a lot every day which is like cold water swimming I feel like really good for you. Okay I've asked this of a few people right I just I I, I, I know a lot of people got into cold water swimming I can't even yeah. take a cold shower how <laughs> do you do it? I've started doing the cold shower thing as well when I because when I'm in London and I can't go swimming and it, it does it's really good for you it really makes you feel alive it's horrible but <laughs> Can someone, yeah, can someone please just admit that it is so horrible at times? It is. So tell me, how do you get past that horrible? And what are the benefits of going through that horrible? Well, I'm like, so my mum swims every day, like in the sea, and she, and she goes in every day, and she's really hardy. But I can't. I struggle to do that. But I think once you do it a few times, like the way you feel afterwards is so good that you kind of forget how bad it is <laughs> <laughs> okay I'm gonna take your word, word but, on it I, mean, I think you need to just go straight in like there's no point like waiting and like thinking about it too long because it just makes it worse or just do you know that, that tiptoe dance into yeah, the water where you're just like ooh, ooh, too much. Ooh. yeah it's not good <laughs> <laughs> has making music also helped you get through lockdown yeah well I finished the new album just before actually so um I was really lucky and then but I did finish a few things and I had to like make a makeshift studio and also my brother's actually got into producing so he it was really useful for me <laughs> but he was he was able, I was like set him to work helping <laughs> record lots of things um but yeah that's been a nice distraction doing little bits you know might that be a new partnership yourself and your brother making more music yeah, together I'd love to do more of it yeah he's he's so talented and he writes and he plays drums and you know he's really good Maybe maybe on the next album. But in the meantime, Young Heart is available for us now. Bertie, thank you so much for sharing your favourite things with us. Thank you. Thanks for having me.